As human beings, I think we're all uh, somewhat naive about evil when it comes our way. And in this story, Diet Eman shares her life and how evil really surprised the people of the Netherlands as Adolf Hitler and his plans for the Third Reich came into the Netherlands. Uh, join me as we talk with Diet and listen to how evil came into their country and how even though Hitler had explained all of these things ahead of time, people were not ready for when it came their way. I talked to my fiancé, Hein. He said, Diet, I forgot the book that Hitler wrote. It was called Mein Kampf. Mein Kampf, yes. And he said, he's going to do something terrible with them. But we had no idea. Now, now, this is an interesting thing, too, Diet, because he had read the book. And, and, of course, in Mein Kampf, there was really a discussion of all of these things. And you kind of wonder, why didn't people believe what he wrote in the book? You know, because he didn't. said many of the things that he ended up doing. Most people didn't even read the yeah, book. Yeah, most people didn't even know what was coming. They didn't even read the book. Yeah, they did I not. Know. But the people are blind now also. What is all happening? And I mean, they are blind. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The majority. Yeah, people today, do you think that the parallels are just the same? People don't realize or, or know what's happening, right? They just no. don't know. And there were also churches that uh, said, it says in the Bible, clearly you have to obey your authorities. So they felt that they had to do what the, what the government, the Germans said, the Nazis. And uh, we felt, and that was another group, and that was really the group that caused the resistance. The Queen, Wil yes. uh, that was Wilhelmina. Queen Wilhelmina, yes. With the whole government, she had fled to England. Okay. And when we heard that first, we were terrible, sad, and angry, because I've, in the diary of my husband, of, of Hein, he was so angry that a mother doesn't leave right, her Right, to kid. leave her children behind, you must have felt like orphans, you yeah. know, like you had been abandoned your mother, by like, your mother, sure. But then it was so totally different when you, later that it became the whole government left. Yes. And in the Netherlands, the royalty is always crowned by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. So we felt that was our rightful because of that. That's right. That they always were Christians and by the grace of God. So And the whole government went. So they were in England. And that is why we felt that you could, you had to do resistance. So because the Queen spoke over the radio, a secret radio sender at 8 o'clock at night. And then she told, and she also asked, for instance, to go on strike for Amsterdam. And she told us what we should do. So we felt that was our rightful government. Yes. And so, that is how the resistance came. Yeah. So the Queen actually went to England and then she began broadcasting from England secret broadcasts that were going across. And, and you would listen to them in the Netherlands. Now, did the Nazis, did they, did they forbid this? Yeah, I, you went to jail if you so, were caught. So in other words, if you were caught listening to the radio, you would go off to jail. Yes. Because when we had it on, then there was no TV. If you had the radio on, then it was very soft and you sat like that. And then always one of the family walked outside, walked the door, because everywhere was the Gestapo, the Geheime Staatspolizei, the secret police. The secret police. And they uh -huh. walked and they could, of course, in the curfew and so, but they walked through the streets and if they heard the radio, the radio was forbidden yeah. or German. So then that was really, uh, but that's why we felt we had to obey the Queen. Yeah, you had because to obey she the was queen. our rightful government. The rightful government. And that's yeah. how the resistance came. As I was listening to Diet Eman share about how the people of the Netherlands were surprised during the Second World War about Hitler and his plans, the amazing thing that stood out to her and I think should stand out to all of us is that Hitler, long before the war began, had written about all of the things that unfolded during the war in Mein Kampf. And so in a way, people had been warned. There, there was information out there. There were things that they could have studied or learned or read and gotten ready for what was coming. And yet the people in the end largely did not. And so the story of what happened to Diet Eman and what happened during the Second World War, I think is a challenge for all of us today in thinking about watching leaders, listening to what people say, and recognizing that oftentimes we ignore things that people are saying or doing, perhaps because we don't want to know, but that we need to be engaged, 
we need to understand what people are wanting to do, what they're saying, and hopefully being wiser so we can protect ourselves and others from things that come our way. And I think Deet's story is, is a warning, I think, for our generation to be careful and discerning about everything that we see going on today. Mm -hmm.